Hey everybody, welcome back to your React series. In this episode, we're gonna talk about creating a modal. This is a pop-up window that goes on top of your web page that you can then interact with or close. This is how we're going to edit data. That pop-up's gonna come up, we can edit as much as we want, and then it won't change the original data until we hit complete or update or whatever the button might say. So let's go through an example of what this might look like. Here's our application. Whenever we want to edit some data, we can just go in here, change it, and hit update, and it'll replace the data on the home page. Now, if we wanted, we could build this from scratch, but as you guys know, I like to just use what we can out there already that'll make this easier for us. So there is what's known as React Bootstrap, and this will introduce a bunch of components that we can use in our project that Curry Media, how may I help you? As I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted, React Bootstrap gives us components we can use and it makes it very simple. So one of these is the modal and we can get a really good example of how to build that functionality into our project and it's not too bad. Now, because we're going to have an edit button for each of the different employees, we're actually going to do it within the employee component. You could do it inside of there or you could create another component just to manage the modal part of things, which I think is what we're going to end up doing. Now, before we jump in, the next couple of steps get pretty complex so we're splitting this up into a few different concepts first we will learn how to create the modal with react bootstrap how to open it and how to close it pretty simple once you get the hang of it but it's a little complex if you're new so we will try to explain it to the best of our ability number two styling and submitting with a button number three passing props from an employee to the uh, new modal component that will basically autofill the user data into that modal and then lastly, hitting that update button and having that data change on the home page of our application. So with that intro, let's get started with getting the modal set up so that it opens and then we can close it. So the first thing I wanted to mention is that from the previous videos, I renamed these from class to class name, which is the proper way to define classes in React. So if you've been following along from the beginning, make sure you update that to class name. That was just a copy pasta error and I'll be careful not to do that in the future. That being said, it seems that the classes were still being applied, even though we just use class instead of class name. So let's head over to React Bootstrap, and there is an install guide under getting started. So one thing I want to remind you is that nothing is going to look good unless you import the CSS. So this is a two-step process, not just a single step. So if you do this and it looks awful, that's probably why. So we're going to do the npm install, and we'll go down in the terminal, paste that there and that will download what we need and add it to our package.json. Now, let's go ahead and grab that CSS, copy that, and that's going to go in your outermost JavaScript file. So let's go over into index.js and we can import that here. Now, these styles should be available to all of our components on our website. So for creating the modal, we're going to create this inside of a new component. So source, components, right click new file, and for the name here, I'm just going to do edit employee. And the naming convention here is Pascal case, which is capital letters for each word. You'll often see lowercase with hyphens between the words as well. I wouldn't worry too much about it. Just be consistent. Now heading back to the documentation, we can search modal. And there are a bunch of examples. So we will want, here's one. So let's go through these. This one will allow you to click off and that works for many examples. I tend to prefer the ones that do not close when you click outside of them, because I hate when I'm working on something and then I accidentally click or something and it gets rid of my work. So this is the one I'm going to use, but feel free to use whatever you want from this list. But if you want to follow exactly, this is what you're going to want. So I'm going to copy this code here. I'm not going to take the render, so just this. And then we're just going to go into edit employee, paste it, and change a few things, specifically the name of the function. So we'll say edit employee, and then this is going to be exported. So we'll say export default edit employee, which will allow us to bring it into other files. Now let's see what this thing actually returns. If you take a look, it returns a button and the modal itself, all within a fragment. So we don't actually have to create a button ourselves although we do already have a button inside of our employee. So we're gonna talk about what we're gonna do with that, but for now, let's just push our button down and we'll create 
the new button just by creating an edit employee component and it'll be self-closing. So we'll save that. And now let's try this out. You can see it looks a little bit funny, but we're going to make it look a lot better, don't worry. So we have two buttons now, our update button, which doesn't do anything, and then the bootstrap button. So bootstrap also has a collection of buttons you can use. And there you go, you have a modal, it's that simple. Understood doesn't do anything and close will close it. So since we have two options for buttons, which one do you want to use? Well, I guess it's up to you, but I kind of like the button we already have. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take our button, cut it, go over to edit employee, and replace the button they have there. So paste that here, and then just change one thing about the button, which is the on click handler. So handle show, and that is the function that will allow the modal to pop up. Now we should be